In this episode, we will look at the logging module of Python. To start out, we'll just create a simple log using the logging module. Let's check it out. So first, we just need to import logging. And we just need to create a basic config. We'll give it a file name to use. Oops, file name to parameter. And let's make a sample log. And we need to set our logging level. In this case, we'll set it to info. So informational logging. And then we'll actually try writing something to it. So if you just do logging.debug, we'll send out a debug message. Login.info will send out an informational message. And we'll also log an error. Okay. So now we have this, this log created, now we need to see what it looks like. So as you might remember, we can find out what, what the logging module log by just opening the log. So let's do that. And that'll open it in read-only mode. And it'll be sneaky and just add a read on there. And then we'll just print out F. Oops. And you'll see that it logged an informational message and an error message, but it didn't log the debug message. So if you want to get the debug message and anything above it, like information and error, you have to set the logging level to debug. Pretty simple, right? All right, well, let's go on and learn about catching exceptions with the logging module. So we still have this thing imported, so we can actually just do that right now. So we do a try and we raise an error, like a runtime error. And we have an accept. And we'll catch the runtime error that we just raised. And we'll log the exception. And you can put some kind of custom error message here if you want to, or not. It doesn't matter. Oops. I did that wrong. It's supposed to be logging.exception. All right. So that should have logged something. So let's go back and open this up again. And let's we'll print it again. Let's see what we get. So this automatically logged our message error, and then it logged the traceback as well, which was that we raised a runtime error. I find this really useful to catch errors and actually log the entire traceback in my own programming. So if you have code that you know is going to be problematic, like opening and closing files, or accessing a database or whatever, you can wrap it in a try accept, and if it has an exception, you can catch it and write it to your log so you know what happened. At this point, we're ready to learn how to log from multiple modules. Now what I mean by this is that when you get to creating lots of code, you'll want to split it up into multiple modules to make it easier to reuse. But of course, you'll also want to log from those modules if need be. So let's just do some code because it's a lot easier to explain if we do it that way. So we'll still import our logging module and then we'll import our own special module that we're going to create here in just a moment. We'll call it other mod and we'll create a function called main and we'll create our logging config. And it's the same file name of some sort. Call it a test log. And we'll set our logging level to 
info. And now we can log something. Like the program started. This is actually pretty common, at least it is in my programs. And let's get a result from our other module that we're going to create. Now this other module will have an add function. And then we'll log some more info. That tells us that this particular program is done. All right. So what this will do is it'll call main, create a login, create a new log, or append to this log if it's already there, and it'll tell us that the program started, and then it'll get the result from this other module we have yet to create, and then it'll say done at the very end of the function. So we know that the program is done. Let's save this. And we're just going to call this main log. Py. And now we just need to create another one. And this one will also need the login module because we want to log from it as well. Actually, let's comment this one so we know which one, which one is which. So we'll make sure this one is called othermod.py so we know where we are. And then we need to create our add function. It accepts two arguments, x and y, and it'll return uh, x plus y. That seems pretty simple. We also need to log something. So let's do a logging.info. Added to percent s and percent s. Get percent s. Percent. We have x, y, and x plus y. All right, that looks good. And say this one as well, and make sure we call it the correct name, other mod.py. All right, we should be ready to rock and roll. Let's give this a go. All right, run module. We got no output, so we, that means there's no errors. That's a good thing. Let's try to read that file that we just created. Let's see. Just make sure the name's test.log, so we just need to do x equals open test.log. read and we just need to print out X so as you can see it says that we have three messages program started it added 7 and 8 to get 15 and then it printed done there is a slight problem here in that we don't know which module printed what or in other words we don't know which one logged what unless we actually go back and read the code so let's see if we can fix that So to change this, we just need to go back to our main log and actually create a logger object. So let's edit this a little bit and get this figured out. So let's see, we'll create a logger object and we'll get the logger. In this case, we'll call it an example app. But that's exactly what this is. And we don't need this line anymore. We need to create, we need to set the level actually. And then we actually need to connect to the file like we were doing previously. That's a little bit different because actually we need a logging file handler.
We'll just create this a new log so we don't overwrite the old one. New.log. And let's create a formatter too. Formatter. This will actually help us to get the format that we need out of it. There's actually a lot of different things you can do with the format, and it's all documented on Python's website. But I'll explain what we're going to do here in a minute. So right now, we're creating a format that's going to have the time, the name of the module, and the level name, which will be what level of logging we're going to get printed out. So let's see here. We just want to print out the message. Let's see, presenters, message, oops, message. Yes. And that was kind of a long string. So since it's so long, let's put this all in its own line so it's a little bit easier to follow. Call this the format string. There it is. And I'll put it in there. All right. Now we just need to add that to our handler, to our logger, I mean. So logger that set formatter. And then we need to add the handler as well. The file handler I mean. And then the rest can be basically the same, except that we want to call logger instead of logging. Okay, so we've got a file handler which opens a new file, our new log. We format how the log will di display messages. Then we set the formatter in our logger and then we add the file handler as well. And then we can start logging. Pretty cool. Now we just need to save this and edit the other file a little bit and we'll be ready to go again. So let's just edit this one a little bit too. We need to grab our logger. Is logging dot get logger. And we need to make sure that we call it the right thing. So in this case, we gotta call it example app. And we'll give it the name of the module and the function name as well. Then this just needs to become logger. And I think we're basically good to go. Let's see if we got this all correct. I've got a typo in here. Run module. Yeah, I got a typo. So let's jump back to the main one. I'm trying to figure out what this is talking about. It's supposed to be FH, that says the formatter, my bad. All right, let's try this again. Well, that looks to be quite the mess. Let's see if we can figure this out. So if we go back in here, and look at our code. We need to figure out what's going on. It looks like the format string might be messed up because we have a percent %s here where it's not supposed to be. So let's try saving that and rerunning this code. That looks a lot better. 
let's use that trick from earlier and see if we can get this to work the way we want to. So we'll open up our file, new.log, and we'll read it, and we'll print it out. So I ran it, I actually ran this a couple of times myself to make sure it worked. But anyway, so here we go. Example info, 7 plus 8 equals 15, and the program is done. And then we ran it the second time, and we got the same information. So you may want to delete this file after each run to make sure you know what's going on. Or just check the timestamp to make sure you know what's going on. Either way, you can see how this helps because now we know that the example app or the main application called it. And then our other mod or our other module that we have and its add function called info and added stuff together. So this helps you know how to how to read your log file and tell from which file it is coming from. Pretty handy. At this point, you should know enough to actually go and create your own logs and create logs for multiple modules as you go through and write your own code. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you learned a lot and enjoyed this video.